Alrighty, new version here. Let's play the whole thing in full. Oh, neat. <laughs> Definitely more detail. Cool. All right. I think we were a bit too long on that on that end reaction there. Ow, cut. I mean, I think we can just go a bit. Let's see here. Ow, cut. So for me, this is frame 330. So whatever uh, it is for you, this is starting at frame one for me. All right, there is some good detail. On that posing there, watch out, you might um, dial in a little foot roll a bit sooner. Here, you might want to roll over that foot so it's mainly on here, and this side is lifted off the ground so it doesn't feel so broken. Same thing here, you're overextending legs a bit too much. This feels a bit off balance. You're leaning over there, and now she's really leaning over here, and it's barely on the toe. I don't quite feel the compression and the push. This would be with a leg maybe this far out. I'm exaggerating, but you just want to push that balance a bit more. I mean, I know she goes down and then kind of stops, but then we're really stopping at a point where there's weight over here. There's all of this. I think that foot needs to go a bit further back. This is a bit fast. This is not a really heavy object, and this feels like <laughs> this is like a massive suitcase that hits her head. So I will play this with just a bit of a head down and more like a oh, like a sharp pain and bring her shoulders up and you know something like that with a little bit of a down, but afterwards because of the head going down and pulling the chest down. I think this is a bit too much. Also, spacing wise, you have a really massive linear key here. Again, the weight is not that big. I barely touched her. I mean, this would hit her here. And now it's already here. I, should, I think the reaction is a bit too soon, my frame. It's too heavy. And you're also spacing-wise, you're going one, two, bam. And then we're staying put. So both chest and head. Linear key right there. So that weight is gone. You have to overshoot a lot more and then recover. So I would watch out for that. And then this is a bit funky too, where, I mean, you might argue this is going down and the weight is what brings her over here. But again, this is a bit too light. I'm not quite buying this. And because of that, once you reduce this, for the root to move, for her to go over this way, the only way to do this is for this foot to stay put, push down to push with that leg over here, if that makes sense. But right now... That foot gets off the ground right away. And then how is she moving over this way? This is a magical root movement that once you remove this or reduce this, it's not going to quite work. So it's going to have to be keep here. This where she kind of, oh, shoulders up and she goes down. But this would be a thing of leg here. This leg still here. It's a horrible drawing. She's leaning over. Oh, my head. And it's just kind of an overall lean until she has to take that step for balance. I'm just not quite buying the the uh, mechanics here. And then we're back to a lot of overextended legs, especially here, There's some breakage. I still like this, I like the whole with the gun. I think you potentially snap into this a bit more and watch out for tangents there with that object. I don't know if you want to then reduce this or I don't know if you want to have to bring out that gun a bit more to give this a bit more negative space. So it's not always kind of touching that head here. Also, this feels really far out there in terms of how much she opens up her legs here. And same thing here, you pivot off of this section. so It's not so broken there. But generally, my question is, could this be something where you go and you snap so you can hold this a bit longer? before she looks over here. Right now, it feels like we go... Rip, rip. Is that... Hold on, let me... I'm questioning myself. Is that necessarily bad? We have... Bam, hold. Over there and here. And then shoot, shoot. And then this... I don't know. I wonder if it's if it's going to be... Hold. 
cold. And then faster look over there. Just to be a bit more dramatic. And then I have one if this makes it too wishy-washy where it's hold pose immediately turn over and go over there. I wonder if that's too much. Also careful. If she is leaning over this leg, this is where all the, the support is. And you're starting to move that leg over. And I know she's pivoting off the heel here. But it also feels like a slight translation. And there's not that much weight on there. It feels like she would drop a bit more with that root. Which I don't know if that's what she wants. Because then you're going to get into a crazy squatty pose. It feels like you want to move that leg a bit faster to be in a position like this a bit sooner so that we have a bit more than just that super tiny backside on the foot here in terms of the pressure point to move her up and over while keeping that balance i hope that makes sense it just feels like it's one of those another one of those magical turns of while well, lifting this there's not that much pressure here so there's not that much stability on that leg yet she's kind of staying in that pose and holding it and able to move over without really pushing off with that leg in order to make that sense, uh, make sense of that mechanically. I hope my babbling makes sense here. Also again, overextended leg, be careful. There's a bit of a weird sticky head while everything else is moving. Also again, spacing wise, this head goes back and then hits kind of a linear key, bam! While there's this magical move here with the sticky head. So I think overall, just seeing another pass of mechanics. And again, I don't know if then you want to take out this little piece. This is it's like she's poking her in the eye, herself in the eye here. So maybe you want to take that out. This feels a bit soft in terms of she shoots and then it's kind of like eh, over there. I've wondered if there's something we can do a bit more with just that moment and again we're, we're resting on this heel a bit too long with that turn it could just be a bit of a step slide and then turn into this we're holding that that toe roll up a bit long it just feels like once you get into here right where she's shooting I part of what i'm also reacting to is how this hand arm is so not strong and important to all those posing. She holds that pose forever in a, in a very soft hand pose. There's no real grip and s stabilization there and effect on any of this. The hand just kind of stays there with a somewhat broken wrist pose here. And then it just kind of stays there, stays there. And then again, a linear key. You can see how that arm goes up. Pam! And suddenly turns. So watch out your arcs. Then it has a bit of a wiggle here with your spacing. And then it's just kind of hanging in there. So, and then your bend is towards the camera. It should be either bend this way or this way. This feels like a short arm at this point, silhouette wise. This is cool. I do like this affecting the hair. I think that's cool. But again, watch out that pose stays out throughout that shot where this makes more sense. We see the bend. This is still weird. Your gun goes from here to here to here. Hey, the spacing, it's suddenly small. It's a big move and then suddenly this is small spacing. She's letting go and then the gun is in front of the hand. And then it does this still. It does this weird change. So if we're still going into this arc, this will land here still. So I still feel like this might be your chance of taking that step and then maybe taking another step with this or you know leaning over and then that way the balance is fixed but then she's also further left and then that gun hit will make more sense so i still feel like this needs a bit more work there all right so watch out your posing watch out your your balance watch out arcs watch out this general feeling of what are certain body parts doing and are they supporting the strong pose is just kind of hanging around and all that good stuff all right i think that's it this is still funky sorry i didn't look at the the gun but oing i kind of buy it up until here but then it's a bit weird how it just kind of slide lands and it suddenly goes to the left and then this feels a bit funky so watch out for that those are purely physics 
So back into bouncing ball mode and with added complexity of the shape. But this has to be solid as well. All right, that's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.